Welcome everyone. Today's episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the export on Out of the Park. I realized there's like no videos I could find on the internet on YouTube about how to do this out of all the years I want to learn. And I was always a little overwhelmed by Excel. So finally I had a buddy luckily teach me how to do it. So now I realize that I know how to do it. It's a lot easier than I thought. So hopefully this video helps at least one person. That's all I really care. It's um, to teach you guys how to export because same if you're in the same shoes, it's just honestly like a couple clicks. That's all it takes. So really easy. And then once you have an Excel, you can do a lot of cool stuff with it. The better you are at Excel. Um, I started as a total beginner. I had I'd done like one grade nine business class on it like years ago and uh, totally forgot how to use most of Excel. But once you start fiddling around with it and watching YouTube videos, really, really, really fun um, if you're a big out-of-the-park guy like me. So anyways, I'll make this video uh, short and condensed so I won't blabber for too long. I'll just start by showing, all you have to do is you just go to like pitching or hitting and then you have your views, right? So my views, I just use like overall multi. I show all this stuff like contact power, I, blah, blah. I have pitcher and hitter in this one so I can kind of look over everything. Usually for uh, lineups, I'll do the uh, overall positional player overall and I'll show all the important hitting stuff with hitting stats and stolen bases and their salary and war and all that stuff so anyways sort of however you want uh so when I make my new view for export I have all this information so it's so squished together but essentially it's a lot easier than it looks you just want to make sure you sort it by player ID because that's most of the time I use this excel stuff for the draft uh, for this example I'm just going to use my lamp show you how to do it but you can do it for the draft pool if you go to rookie draft draft pool all that stuff do the same thing so you're going to go player ID, position as the first two, and name and age. So it's really important that you have these um, in the order you're going to have them on in Excel. So when you make your Excel thing, you're just going to manually make that. So you could copy and paste it pretty easily. But you're going to go player ID, position, name, age, just like I have on this thing here. And it's going to be the same thing all the way over. So uh, it's just going to be height, weight, and it's going to have all your mentals, leadership, work ethic, adaptability, and um, leadership all that stuff and then you're going to show all your hitting stuff so you're going to have the contact power gap power all that stuff whatever order you want you can change it around by hitting customize and you can just drag it here so if you want to move id you click and hold and drag it down one and position will go first id would go second whatever order you want to do it in if you want to copy my um pause your screen you can just copy mine exactly i have all this information so it's going to have all the hitter stuff all the pitching stuff and then all the defensive stuff and at the end here it'll show injury prone money demand for the draft guys when they were scouted um and how accurate your scouting actually is so anyways you like i said you can just slowly you can pause the screen and just copy mine if you want or you can just uh, do yours in whatever order you want based on these categories so you're going to make that in your export tab and then you'll just save view and make sure you save as global because then it'll do it for all your uh leagues instead of just this one if you do global it does it for all your offline stuff too uh and then you have all that information so all you're going to do is you're going to hit report you're going to hit open report it's going to all that same information. You're going to hit open in browser. You're going to pull your browser over. You're going to see all this information the same way, but it's in your like uh, internet. And you're going to do, so if you want to do that stuff I talked about earlier, all you have to do is highlight all the top stuff. That's going to show your ID position name. You're going to do all this stuff all the way left to right. You're going to copy and paste, copy it, put it in Excel, and you're going to paste it there. So that's going to be your top category. And then you're going to do the same thing again, uh, just with the information. So you're going to highlight it starting here. And then you're going to skip that top line and you're going to do every single thing you have. You're going to copy, you're going to open Excel, you're going to just go to this first category, you're going to hit Control V for paste, and boom, it's all there in the exact same order. You're going to hit normal to make it all white if you want. You can center it, do whatever you want with it, you can bold it. And then you're going to have all your information there. It's going to show everything you need, all your pitches, all your, so all the hitters will just show a blank under pitches. If you want to get rid of those blanks, it's really easy. You hit Control H, you do find hyphens and then replace with blank. And then you hit replace all. So get rid of all that if you want to clear up some information. You just do a ton of different things with it. Uh, once it's under Excel, it's super easy. You can highlight everything in a table. So you take all their hitting stuff here. And you go control T. Make it into a table. I like to leave it blank. And then everything's sorted. So then you can like sort stuff. You could like go like, I want to sort guys with the highest I. And it will like rearrange them. You, I uh, advise putting a table for everything. And then you can just... Uh, do a ton of different stuff with that. So really, really cool, all the stuff you can do in Excel. And then once you have all that information there, you can conditional format, it's really easy. So say you wanna take all your hitter contact stuff and you just like, say you have a list of 150 guys or thousand guys even for the draft, you highlight every single one of those things or you just highlight the whole category by clicking M if you have like a thousand guys. And you're gonna do conditional formatting and you're gonna say, I wanna just highlight the top 10% hitters. So you're gonna take the top 10 contact guys, you're gonna make it green with green text, hit okay. And it's gonna highlight all the top guys with the like high contact and it'll make it green and you can do the same thing and uh do it like on your bad ball tendency you're like oh i want to highlight all the guys that have fly ball you're going to go new rule 
you can format cells that contain specific text. You're going to say fly ball. Anyone that has fly ball is going to go dark green. And you hit OK, and then boom. And then so when you make everything all pretty and colorful, eventually you're going to have something like this when you get really good. Um, and then so this is like my draft rankings for the draft in the game. I have a hit ca category. And it weights it like this. So it's like 30% contact, 23% eye, 3% gap, 17% avoid. So that takes all their hitting potentials, or their hitting currents based on what I showed on the screen there in my note, and it gives them a rating. And then the potential is the same one, but with the potentials instead of the currents. And then you're going to have, I have an exit velocity, which is how hard they hit the ball, which adds together the contact power and gap. And then I have an approach, which adds together their I and avoid K. And then it shows their all their other stuff, again, field range. So that's my DH rankings, for example. So I can sort it however I want. I could uh, sort it, and I, could, I just want to see, like, the high school draft prospects. I can get rid of all those, and I can just show, like, 17, 18... And then boom, it like totally gets rid of filters out all that stuff. I can clear the filter again, put everybody back. See, so yeah, I just want to see the switch hitters. I can get rid of everything, just go switch hitters. Boom, I just see the four, like five switch hitters in the draft. I can just sort by anything. I can find, I can do all my positions for the draft. I got pitchers and all my two-way players, all my hitters, all my arms, and then my big board in the middle there. Um, so everything I have is in there. It's really cool. And then once you get really good, you can make this advanced formulas on the right, like your athleticism rating, for example. So I take... My athleticism ranking is pretty much adding together BS2 and BU2. So that's speed, stealing, and running, those three categories, BT2. And then it weights them differently. That's how that you get that advanced stuff on the dashboard. So it weights it by like, it's like 33%, 33%, 33%, and it adds it all together. So for this guy, I just have a tester with all low ratings. That's why it's showing like 20 rating. But for your better guys, it, you go down here and it would show all your you just spill the information down. You can see the higher guys are the more athletic guys. So like Tatis probably here at 72 my, um, shows the highest one. So anyways, you can do all that information. I can show their catcher D and I can show their all, all the information here that you want. So you can do anything you want. So all the orange stuff here is not the views. The views end here. And then I made these orange ones specifically. So those are all formulas um, that show different things. So that's the simple part of it, and then once you get better and better, um, you can just fiddle around with it more and more and make more tables and make more conditional formatting. And You can conditional format it where, like, for your age, for example, we'll see all the guys in the draft under a certain age. Same thing I showed you earlier. You go to rule, format cells that contain cell value between, uh, let's say, seven, we want to do all the 17 to 19-year-olds or 18, count them as high school guys, and then the high schoolers are going to be highlighted by, like, a light green. And so it's going to show, like, that guy's light green because that's my testing. Um, I just made them 18 randomly. but uh, So, yeah, you can see all that stuff. You can do whatever rules you want. You can highlight them in red if you want to show the guys that are really old, so, like, the 22-year-olds in the draft. Um, and you can make it the same thing, but make it red. You can format it anything, however you want. Excel is really easy to use the more you fiddle around with it, and you can just do a lot of cool things with it. So, anyways, that's the episode.